<laughs> uh, let me get back to the other screen. Yeah, cool. Yeah, 108. Love it. <sighs> Well, thank you so much for this call, Brother Sage. Wow. I'm, I've been, uh, wow. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> mm, um, oh, I feel so on the spot. Why don't you, why don't you do that for us to, this morning? Is that okay? Or today, or this morning and the afternoon? Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, mine's about mm, half hour now. I've been just busy roaming around, but I love my first morning yumminess. Anyway, yeah, the flavors can change so much over the day, hey? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really amazing the what I have found after I'm um is it today actually anyway I think it might be my uh 20 month anniversary of Shivambu cycling thank you yeah yeah i think it always kind of gives you something um and definitely like now it's going <clears throat> now the deeper understanding the um it's remarkable how well it supports you on an emotional level that's sort of where i'm at now and how it's affected my dreams and just uh no matter what's going on in my life, it's like this, I don't want to call it an anchor, but it kind of feels that way. It's like this stability, this like support, this, <laughs> this built in self support system. It's so, um, I don't know. It just frees up a lot of, frees up a lot of energy to be creative. Cause you, it's like this, huge worry is um lifted off your shoulders somehow just by this support that you know you're gonna have um the yeah Yeah, I call it the drinkable hologram and I just I love it for that. It whenever I've had any like kind of stressful like crisis situation happen, I just I just consume as much of it as I can. It's like I I'm drawn to do that. It's like, okay, everything's okay. Everything's okay. <laughs> I'm okay. And I think that the that our bodies pick up on um, the hormones that are there, like the feedback loop, and then it equalizes like what's out of balance. Does that? I don't know. I just I don't know all the technical stuff about this. I'm just going sheer intuition. Mm hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. Totally. Totally. And I think... <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the crazy things about this hey it's like when I first read um I've already been through a few um um like disillusion moments but when I read John Armstrong's book Water of Life I really like that hit me on a really deep level and I was so angry at first I was I had all of this anger want to come out of me like for for this knowledge not being, um, you know, and it like, it was just another thing. Right. And I'd already done a lot of, but then there was this other side of it, this shaming side that came up for me that I was also like seeing, seeing coming towards me. And so I was angry about that too. And I had done, um, it reminded me like all of these things I've sort of done in my life or experiences I've had in my life that I've shared with other people. Like I did one year of humanure, uh, where I made anyway. So I did that and I was so like, just shocked by how much I learned about that. And I was like, you know, trying to convince my parents to build an outhouse in their front yard and so they could have a great view of the lake while they go to the bathroom and not use their indoor toilet anymore. <laughs> And my mom was like, we can't talk about human or every time you call. And then I'm like, okay, guess what's happening now, kids? <laughs> and so the plasma cycling, I was just like, oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> With another one of these, you know, but I got over it. <laughs> yeah hey but yeah and in the end it's such a beautifully nutritious thing that you end up just gushing over it like a new baby it's nuts actually so yeah You know, it's like this thing when I get in a mood and I'm blue or down or whatever, then I'm just like, okay, when's the last time you did a Bastille? Hmm, you didn't even do that today, you know? <laughs> and so it's, yeah, it's my go-to. And um, when I have like self-neglect, you know, then that's the only reason for me to be, you know, not not happy really and it's just this connection to the water which totally makes sense and you know i went on to your yeah exactly right i mean it's so obvious that it's just wild um and then you read poetry differently and you read everything differently and every time one of these scriptures you know talks about water and our water and i'm just like whoa Yeah, it's so surprising, but yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh. 
Wow. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, I was reading a little bit about what you said about this. Do you want to elaborate on that a little bit more? Like the, no, no. Yeah, well, I just, like, I'm not um, savvy on all of these uh, 5D, 3D. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is where I wanted you to go. Mm, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, or not do. <laughs> or an undoer and a non doer. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, plasma really kind of, um, it, I guess it not forces you, but it's, um, it, it really brings you out of that boxed in state where it's like, oh, it's a destination. You know, it's a play, like you're saying, it breaks you out of that idea that it's a place that you're going to. Mm. yeah yeah your the placebo effect is real <laughs> i mean that has been proven over and over again when you start to read these studies it's like mind-boggling um but anyway uh the i don't need any verification for this one really outside myself my own lived experience is quite enough information for me although I do read a lot but um yeah just embodying the experience is pretty wild and I'm so glad that, that we jumped in the way we did um, my partner and myself Lee and I we started our plasma experience with a three day fast. And that really was huge for me. I had, I've had um, radial shortening on both my arms for, um, and I tore the blood vessels off the lunate bone in both my wrists, doing heavy lifting in this crazy career that I had for a long time. So I've always had this like, I wish I had never done those surgeries now, but anyway, um, so I've had like chronic wrist pain for a really long time. And when we started the plasma, I was basically like incapacitated by my wrist. We had just moved. I'd done a bunch of lifting and I was, my wrists were like toast. I could barely, <laughs> I could barely like unzip a jacket or just you know even the dexterity the strength the grip strength was is really compromised and by day two I was like oh my god 
is this for real? Like, and then you don't want to say anything, you know, to maybe it's not <laughs> working. And yeah, I, I've never looked back, but it did throw me into like, um, a purge, a purge of uh, the purification process that the body goes through when you start to consume this is real. And all of this other stuff was coming out of my body. And it's crazy in your in my at that time, because I was just new to it. I'm like, Oh, my God, it's making me sick. And then I'm just like, Whoa, 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 whoa. How much have you read about this? How much do you know about this? No, that's this is your body being purified by it. This is a normal reaction. And I think this is something that people really like get at the beginning get caught with because their programming kicks back in. Oh, gosh. Deep, deep. Wow. Anna. Up here. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. That's just it, right? That's just it. The um, have you seen any of the work uh, or do you know any of the work of Veda Austin? Does that name ring a bell? Oh, wow, cool. Yeah, I love uh so when you get into the water world, of course you stumble across all of these people and I just I really was intrigued by by that and um yeah and the the dharma tantra i love that book too about like the it's really a hymn you know like they would sing this knowledge to each other so beautiful so beautiful to me that was just like wow and then it makes sense you know like i grew up in um yellow knife and uh, canada's arctic and when i think about the um, Eskimos and the indigenous tribes that live in igloos and in that environment. I'm just like, okay, it's getting more and more obvious, you know, that they're, of course, they're going to be using this. Like, wait, you're going to boil, you're going to melt snow to wash your hair. You're going to, like, I mean, it just doesn't even make sense. Not, yeah. We really do everything with it here. I'm not really, I don't know where my next level plasma experience is going to come from. Probably in this move that I'm making now. Uh, because right now, Lee and I are together. We're in our own space. And we really like splash this stuff around freely. We wash our dishes with it. We wash our windows with it. There's nothing we don't do with plasma. Let's just put it that way laundry we even had a chicken infirmary in here when they are some of our hens got into some i think it was rat poison from one of the neighbors and we were spoon feeding them well lee was spoon feeding them our plasma and um, two of the three survived that toxicity and detox experience so wild chickens <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah.
Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, wow. Right. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Like, um, I so I have a lot, uh, Lee and I both have quite a bit of plasma collected here. And I, like, I, as I said, we're moving. And um, I have a friend who does plasma here. And she's wondering, like, what is it with the baths and like sharing each other's plasma? Is <laughs> Oh, I, I want it already. Late. Okay. Mm, this kind of sounds like morphic resonance or something like that. Like, <laughs> wow. No. I'll do that too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right. Right. Hmm. Oh, wow. Wow. How, how long have you been um, uh, doing all this with other people and having this, this plasma interaction? <laughs> oh. Right. Wow. 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 Okay. <laughs> wow, that's in that's an amazing story. Holy. <laughs> wow. 
Yeah. And you know, I, um, um, we were on like a social media, we were off social media for like 10 years. And I think that's why it took me so long to stumble across it because I just wasn't, I wasn't online for like 10 years. So you're like, you're saying the, the internet really, um, being able to talk to other people about it and find, you know, discover other people doing it is a really big deal, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's so crazy how in like, I, there was so much intuition behind this, like when I finally stumbled upon it. Um, like w when I was living in uh, Montreal, the water, the city water there had so much like chemicals in it. I was just like, this is, I can't even have a bath in this. And I was like, I, and I actually did like put my plasma into the bath water, just, you know, out of, I'm like, this has to be better. <laughs> like this has to be an improvement. And yeah. And it's just like that intuition, like trying to break through, you know, like the consciousness within you, like just trying to, break through the the body it's so wild and then when i was doing human or i was also collecting some of my plasma like for fertilizer but it was just i had so much going on that you know anyway yeah i know <laughs> mm -hmm. and more supportive like i feel so much more like grounded and um uh like the electrical current is has been stabilized let's put it that way yeah and the dreams was a huge surprise Yes, I feel like this move is a really big part of that. We, the reason why we came to Luang Prabang in, here in Laos, which is a beautiful spot, and if you love nature, I mean, you're immersed in it here. Yes, you're certainly immersed in it here. Um, but all the reasons why we came here ended up actually being lies we discovered in the end so we we came to this place like out of fear really and um yeah so now i'm we're moving and it's like okay where like where is it that your heart is taking you where what is, where is this place that's pulling you to go to and uh yeah so we're embarking on a whole new you know, come what may, uh, big move from here. We've been here over 10 years, really, but seven is really solid years. Moving to another country, yeah, we're moving to uh, Chiapas in southern Mexico. Uh, after a stop in, I'm going to have a stop in Canada to see my family on the west coast. And... Lee, Lee's going direct to uh, Chepas from here, which is quite a jaunt. <laughs> well, not direct, direct, but <laughs> no, no. Yeah, totally. How did you do it? Just a total adventure. <laughs> mm. 
Nice. Nice. Wow. Wow. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that's what we're moving with. Joy and gratitude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I became a um, grandmother just this, well, last month now, but November 26. So that really, I don't know, something about that, the amniotic fluid, the, I really call it the mother spirit the plasma because it's got that connection right it's like the work that uh, veda austin's doing all this memory so i feel like there's all of this uh um this memory that's in the plasma it is like our history if you want to call it that yeah and that was the big dream like when I did my first um 10 day plasma fast just plasma 10 days I had this crazy lucid dream where I was back in my mother's womb and she was in her mother's womb and th that was like the end of the visual because I had a really good visual of my mother and my grandmother but then the the visual person was lost and it was just this uh, actually multiple, it turned into multiple tunnels of like blue light streaming towards a central core. And, um, yeah, this huge, almost overwhelming feeling of oneness. And, uh, I think, I mean, the plasma baths, um, even diluted, like I have never actually done a full plasma, um, uh, bath, but it just wakes every, when you're immersed in it like that, like, wow, it wakes up an old memory from when you were a baby and it's just wild. It's such a beautiful experience. Yeah. 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 I don't have a bathtub here. So I used a, like a big kind of barrel that we had. And then I bought a cement mixing bin, like this huge, big industrial grade bin. And that's my other outdoor bath. Like, I can't get fully under in it, but it's good enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's like, you know, ju ju I have to be in a funny position to do it, but it happens. I'm not like, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The first one I had was such a, a like, crying, but it wasn't like, sorrow it was just this like when you're longing for something and then it happens you you get the connection and the connection is there and then it's the tears kind of just come yeah 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 Yes. Yeah. Thank you for that. That's what it, yes, it's on its way. <laughs> it, 
it really shows you what um it really clears up or reveals or exposes um all of the negative thoughts all of the all of the background noise that we all have Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, the, do it, man. I love it. <laughs> I love it. It totally resonates with me. I'm like, yeah, how can it not? Um, mm hmm. Yes. Yeah. It feels like the pineal gland is is um is it i mean to me that's what it feels like that the clearing it's like yeah it's deep inside there and the decalcification process that the plasma does with the body up here is huge Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. It's not just about clearing away. It's about bring the, right. Of course, the nutrition comes into all of this. The lymphatic system, the uh, vagus nerve, like all of this tissue <laughs> that needs to be fed around us. That's where all the plasma. That's where it goes. I mean, that's, that is it, actually. Yeah, no doubt. We can't even really imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it I think this it's like poetry, you know, you find your own lang you find your own love language for it to describe this feeling that's happening inside your body. Yeah, it certainly is. <laughs> and it gets you so like tuned in. To your diet and when you start to love your water then you want to eat so that your water tastes good it's all about the water <laughs> it's all about how the water tastes and um yeah then you uh, start experimenting with your diet and well the first thing that sort of happened as far as diet goes is that we were we noticed we were eating like at least 30 percent less just from introducing like so that was amazing yeah and then with the plasma fasting i did um after the 10 days i started to consume uh moringa leaf infusion and to feel that cycle through the body was pretty amazing and uh, coconut water who doesn't love yeah and so we eat a lot of coconut uh now a lot more we were already vegetarian when we started the plasma and uh yeah so 
it's the food thing has been a really interesting um, part. I, I love cooking and I, I love food, which is interesting because I also, I can say that, but I can also see like how it's really, food is really just this pleasure thing. It's like not so, <laughs> so much. I mean, what, how much do you actually need to stay vital and, you know, energetic and fully charged? Not a lot. Not a lot. Yes, that was another really beautiful experience, like the conscious eating where you're blindfolded and it's just like every bite you're like what is it you know and everything slows everything down and now you see people eat and it's just like they're not even recognizing you know they're talking to someone or they're just um lost in their own thoughts and it's like shoveling i don't even know it's changed so much for me <laughs> yes. And I mean, I say all of this stuff really lightly because I can go in the next, you know, half hour and break my own rules. I, I, I always say there are no rules like, you know, it, it's just awareness. And, uh, you know, I'll sometimes have the chocolate croissant and I will just enjoy it. And I will just enjoy that experience and, and, but not in ignorance, you know, knowing what I'm putting into my body and just the awareness of it and being okay with that, just being okay with that. And knowing that as I progress on my journey, that things will change and everything is okay. You know, just, uh, just start. <laughs> Yeah. 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 I've uh, recently seen people like mowing down on a stick of butter online and I'm just like, does that taste good? <laughs> like, are you, are you actually really, is that an enjoyable way to even experience butter? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. To me, like the, I don't know. It's got to be a little bit more than that. <laughs> Even coconut I like to mix with. Like coconut meat, I like to have it with something. I mean, anyway, I love food. I love preparing food and making nice, healthy, vital meals. So, yeah. But it's wild, some of the stuff out there right now. Like, it's been a weird 10 years to not be on the internet and then to come onto the internet like now, you know, after, well, the great lockdown, when that happened, when that first happened, when the great lockdown came, I was like, okay, you know, what, 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 what is happening? <laughs> Cause nothing made sense to me. I'm like, okay, cut us off, cut people off from that which makes living possible, basically, was that message. <laughs> that was just like, what is happening? And so, you know, four years ago was a big wake up for me. I was, I was like one of those people who thought they were awake. And that's what we were kind of talking about the plasma is like, yeah, it's not a place you get to. <laughs> Destination not reached. <laughs> oh. 
uh, we didn't, it was, um, mostly internalized. Yeah. And I just kept reading. I really, like, I thought I was done educating myself actually. And I was like, okay, I've, I know enough. Now I'm going to go do something. And then, and then, <laughs> yeah. And so the last four years has really been like an intense study. So much reading is just astonishing. But um, I internalized it all, but my partner was really like, he was so mad. He had so much, he had more anger in him than I, he was angry enough for both of us. And it was like, you know, he was, he was trying to really like, um, you know, it was intense, like to be out with him in public because anyone that even gave him like a second glance, he would, you know, he would try to inform them <laughs> of, of all the wonders of what they were missing. And it was like, yeah, it was a really weird transition time. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here we were pretty lucky because, um, there's, there's really no places to go inside to go shopping anyway. <laughs> like there is no, all of the, there's no grocery store. There's little convenient corner store, convenience stores where if you want to buy like milk and you know, the dairy stuff like that, but it's all still like farmer's market. Y yeah. 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 So it was all outside anyway. And the fruit stalls are all like that too. It's all outdoors, all of it. Yeah. So we didn't have to really deal with, um, that part, but it was hilarious here to see the weirdness going on. Like you're outdoor at an outdoor market and they, they would take a sheet of plastic and suspend it in the air in front of their stall and the you know the people walking by the market and you just pass the goods and the money underneath the plastic sheet that's suspended <laughs> like i just can't even go there like with the train of thought like how that even makes sense or any of it but anyway yeah it was really strange so a lot of that strangeness is is gone now but it's uh the, it left the weirdness behind let's put it that way yeah but they're still out there <laughs> Yes. Chiapas is like that in Mexico too. They don't, cons they consider them, th that state is like a free, and yes. Uh, and interesting what, like when we, when Lee and I were talking like, okay, where do you want to go? And I, I just intuitively picked that spot because my grandfather was actually born in Tapachula, Chiapas in Southern Mexico. And I'm like, friends of mine have been there and told me how amazingly beautiful it is and that I was just like something I need to feel this place like where are my you know where some of my ancestors are from and the fact that they moved from there I'm like why would you move from there the fact that they moved from there all the way up to Canada you know not not, not easily you know like 
not in not didn't easily move from that location to Canada like oh, horse and cart well yeah well my grandpa was born I can't remember the year off the top of my head right now 1903 1902 I can't remember yeah and um yeah so they actually moved from mexico they spent some time in california and then another big move to canada and he actually wrote a family history book about it more chronological though not a lot of the personal stories um so that's part of the work i want to do when i visit my family uh in canada is actually get my hands on the paper book and digitize it so that i can actually have a copy because like you i minimized my life um 10 years ago before i left canada and came on this big journey through asia yeah that's gonna be me real soon here <laughs> yeah so I, i'm like this is like the second we really thought we were gonna live here for a long time so you know we accumulated well we have the studio which isn't a big deal but we and tools like nothing is really hard to get rid of i don't really have a lot of superfluous stuff uh right but i really want to like depart from here super light and um yeah fresh start yeah yeah and a lot of some of the things like are really we had a really beautiful little tiny well maybe it's still here somewhere but we were supposed to do this call yesterday and the sun came out and you went swimming and our we realized we don't have our camera and so many things like this have happened where it's like the thing you know the shiny thing like oh don't lose the shiny thing and then poof it's gone it's gone <laughs> and uh, yeah 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 that was really i mean yeah when you're in a new place it's so how long have you been in um on the island for now oh right a few months you said oh well, nice cool and you were in uh you were in seattle is that where you were before oh boulder colorado okay Yeah. Yeah, I'm going back to Canada in like December. Wow, it's going to be interesting to be layered again. Cool. <laughs> yeah. For my trip. yeah that was one of the things i did this um hike with my friends in uh, penang i went there to finish up some stuff on in malaysia penang georgetown which is another really cool spot uh and have a little budding plasma family there and we went for this hike up to the top of this waterfall and went digging for gems and when i got there i was like oh my god i forgot my water bottle and my friend who's like you know a really he's like a professional guide and like wilderness survival dude he actually yeah he actually really does and uh when i was like oh, i forgot my water bottle he's like how did you get like how can you be here without your water bottle <laughs> And then I ate some of my lunch, which was in a little plastic bag. And then I was like, okay, I got my water bottle. Because <laughs> I am it's always on tap, right? I didn't even, I just need something <laughs> to catch it in. I don't need to take it. I don't need the, the water part is already taken care of. 
so that was so cool to you know to like improvise and be able to do that and the other cool I have to tell this plasma story because I think you'll appreciate it when I was catching the flight so I have my water bottle that I have filled with my plasma of course um and I'm like you know waiting to go through immigration and there's something about drinking it in public when people don't have any clue and you're surrounded by all these people and everybody's got their passports and like the guards are there and and I'm just like you know quietly sipping my plasma and all the way through and I don't know there's something about it you just feel like extra luminous like like you're carrying this special knowledge with you when you when you travel and then I took my last sip and I put my empty water bottle into the scanner and it went through the machine and I walked through the buzzing gate thing and <laughs> picked up all my stuff and went into the ladies room and filled my bottle back up again and walked out like drinking my water and I was just like wow how wild of an experience is just that just that right there to just um you know I, and when you're traveling like the currency and what airport you're in and the transitioning and all of that it's just like meals on wheels <laughs> it totally does <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah and it was um so my trip to georgetown it was four years since i'd been there like it, it, my this was my first trip since the great lockdown and um so i was meeting up with friends who i haven't haven't seen in four years and some of the like, two people their immediate initial reaction was like they were taken aback. One lady approached, one friend approached me from behind and I turned around and she was like taken aback. And she's like, how do you look younger? You know, the plasma, it must be working. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it is. You should try. And, you know, she lights a cigarette and sips her coffee and she's like, no, I'm not ready. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Um, yeah, yes, but now I'm getting a lot, so much more gray hair. I really wonder now, but this is my 49th year and, uh, I feel like about 20 years younger in my, in my body, in my energetically, I feel like about 20 years younger, which is just absolutely astonishing to say that, but yeah. Yeah, that's where I feel like I'm, I'm sitting, kind of. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so how, do you mind sharing? How old you are? Nice. 69. What is your birthday? What is your birthday again? May May twenty fifth, nineteen fifty four. What what's the time again? Seven AM. May twenty fifth. What what did you know? I knew it's time. Oh. I knew where you were going. 
Oh yeah, Lee said he knew where you were born and he guessed your sign correctly. So, uh, what? Yeah. In the Vedic, in the Mulas, which one? Or um, Mag my mother. I might be saying that wrong. What is? What is it? That's my mother. She was born on twenty sixth. Oh, and what is the significance of that? That one in the Vedic. The gentle doe. Oh, the gentle doe. Yeah. Yeah. Wild. Did we want to say anything else or uh, should we wrap this up? How long have we been talking for? Gosh, you just get, is it two hours? No. Okay. 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 I'm not even looking at the clock. I don't even know where it is. Forget it. I'm not going to bother. Um, can, can I ask one, one other thing? This is kind of more technical now, but I have a lot of friends that have been, um, worried about urinary tract infections and um uh herpes um yes uh can you talk about that a little bit and plasma and the really this how to manage that and just if there's anything anyone should be worried about Yes. Mm hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yes. It's in your blood if it's in your urine. Yeah. <laughs> So you can't reinfect yourself after it's been distilled by your body. Like it would, to, I, to me, I mean, it's clear, but it's just, you know, when it's coming from someone who has way more experience with this than I do, I just, I like to hear the, everybody's take on these things, but I'm right on par with you with all of this stuff. Right. Yeah, that's this is what I keep saying to to um a lot of the most of the people that I talk with are are, you know, people really close to me that are friends and family and I'm just like if you can't um consider this as a viable thing, then how are you ever going to learn if it is or isn't? Like you have to 
you have to want to, you have to be curious enough to investigate to find out what it is you're looking for. You aren't going to be able to find it if you're not willing to look to see if it's there. Yes. And it's this. Yes. Right. And that was the thing that was so shocking to me. I was, um, of how much blind faith, like for myself, how much blind faith I was walking around with all of these things that I, you know, uh, uh, believed in so strongly that if someone came to me and this is why I can, you know, uh, sympathize with people when some, if someone came to me with like a, this other r radical idea, I, I would like lash out. I even swore at my own mother. And then two weeks later I was like, so you were right, you know, <laughs> cause, cause I just like, you know, even though I came out with like an aggressive attack towards her, I was just like, still part of me was questioning it, you know, like in my mind, I'm like, well, wait a minute. What is it that I actually do know? Like what, where are the facts of this thing that I'm saying is so true that I'm screaming at my own mother over it? What is the actual facts? And then I went and looked to see what it was that I was actually what I believed in and in in looking for the answers to this thing that I believed in I discovered that it was in fact a lie so wild you just what a time to be alive I'm so in awe of it all it's just <laughs> Yeah, well, this is what makes it actually so exciting <laughs> to me. I'm like, oh my God. I, I, I mean, there's no destination, but I really feel like I've really broken through some kind of hard barrier. And, you know, I feel a lot more at ease now moving forward. Yeah. Thank you. No, no, certainly. Yeah. And your every everything became more tactile for me. Like, you, I think that's what we feel when we get our it brings back some of the reflexes, like when something will drop and I'll catch it before it hits the floor. It's like the whole um, tactileness of the body is brought to life yeah yeah and i'm not afraid of the sun anymore i'm now i like i and i love how uh <laughs> lee took us out in the sun a few weeks ago here and uh you know we we're, we do the plasma plasma spray and you know it's everywhere in our place like yours and we're standing out in the sun and Lee's like, okay, now shine your sun back to the sun. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is, I was almost crying. You know, I was just like, right. Like give that energy back to the sun. Like how beautiful of an idea is that? And it really got, it really, I, my body just felt suddenly so much more radiant to me. It was beautiful experience yeah yes the link to the mega list of the things in the plasma and the chart that you have no I don't you're yeah we need to remedy that
no you see that's the other thing about here it's like uh yeah getting stuff into Luang Prabang Lao is a huge challenge so and I don't want to accumulate any when I get to that continent <laughs> Oh, cool. I would love to read it. And I would. Thank you. Wow, I would love to be a part of this somehow. Um. I, I, I can, I would, sometimes I just publish the whole thing, but if there's a portion you want to edit out, then I can edit a part out. I would just, I usually throw the whole thing up raw, just as a real conversation. That's how I like it. Okay. Okay. Cool. And this is what you've set up. How long you set this up? Obviously. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I'm definitely going to have to go and check that out. How many people are in your directory now? Many. <laughs> mm. Wow, yeah. Yes, I read about that. And um, there was one in India as well. Or is there still? I think there still might be one in, in India. Ashwambu Clinic. Hmm. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And even when they're speaking English, it's like the accent and the speed. I don't know. It's really challenging for me. That's one of the most challenging um, English second language uh, accents that I can't I have a hard time. <laughs> I have a hard time with it. But anyway, yeah, yeah. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to be. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, but I've got a um, few books on my phone. I, it's just been busy with this move coming. And anyway, I'm kind of making excuses. But <laughs> yeah, I have to get more serious about my Spanish lessons. But yes. Yeah, it'll happen all in flow, as they say. I know. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, I really feel so new at this. So I'm really grateful for the guidance and uh, picking up these dropped threads. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. I'm really bad at that. You may have noticed that, but I'm getting better at, with that. Even some of my friends are like, you haven't even put any tags on this. You need to put tags. <laughs> I, I know. I've been like literally like running like, okay, just get it up. Just get it up. And then, yeah. but yes, it's all, uh, yeah, exactly. So yes, if do please do send me uh you can just fire me off all of that and I'll I'll um put them in the description definitely. For sure. And thank you. And I would love to do this uh, again like maybe slightly more organized, but um, I Yes. What's this? Hmm. Yeah. Yes, and you're you're like recycling that vibration in a way. It's like the when they yeah, you're reinforcing that in your water, I think too. As correcting as it is, it's like you're keeping yourself in that vibrational loop. Yeah. Yeah. No, I really love that idea. You know what I, that reminds me of a, a time I was at dinner with my parents and the TV was going in the background and it was for an old folks home. And it was like, oh, you better get your spot in the old folks home before the dementia comes in and blah, blah. I'm like, what the hell is this garbage? Like putting that, putting all of these ideas in your head that this is how it's going to play out. And there's, you know, there's no other it's putting that in there it's putting that thought in there and that vibration in your body it's like gotta be careful no Mm. Yeah, we actually say this all the time. Yeah. 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 I I don't know like I mean I guess if I have a broken arm, I don't know. There's some instances where yes, you know, you need to have someone around that can help you with these things, but yeah. <laughs> and what was one of the other things? I love that uh, as a topic for sure. I could dive into that. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah.
Mm. Oh, cool. Hmm. I would that I would love to do a topic on that too. And even um uh like a like demonstrate it, like do a role play. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I do something like this uh, through, they call it recapitulation w with actually like with old memories that you want to clean up. and going going allowing yourself to go to go through the process and go through the memory again but as an observer as you say and then like changing it actually changing the cleaning up that storyline so that it has a better vibration with you let's say yeah yeah i think that's super important and the shivambu kind of leads you to these things because it does bring up uh, the emotional body is definitely touched um, when you do shivambu cycling when you do plasma cycling mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, let's, let's wrap it up there. And uh, thank you so much, Brother Sage. It was a real pleasure. Uh, I've been crossing your path in a few little chats. And it was just, I feel so honored to have your time today. And for you to share your wisdom with us. So thank you so much. Cheers. Another, another sip. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Cling, cling. <laughs> Yeah, I watched you do this the other day and I was like, I, I need to go get my jar a little more sparkly. <laughs> There's sometimes you get like the, um, it like crystallizes or. Yeah, it can. Wow, it really gets hard. Hey. No. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Another fountain of hidden knowledge. Alchemy is not what we think it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> all right yeah let's just do it like we did with megan and we'll just say farewell live here and and we'll catch up with you again maybe before i move from here but surely after i would love to okay beautiful ah thank you so much yeah <laughs> okay ciao Stop.